you have tough blackheads and you tried everything possible but nothing works or you are an esthetician and uh, you have clients with congested pores, large pores, and you uh, have no idea what to do. You tried everything and nothing works. But you've heard about galvanic disincrustation. That piqued your interest. So today, I'm gonna explain step-by-step step how this procedure works. So let's get started right now. Very quickly, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Maria from Vancouver, Canada. Welcome, thank you for being here. I wanna thank my subscribers for the, the whole support that I'm getting from them. And if you're here and uh, you've never heard of me, hopefully you are going to enjoy my tutorials. You're gonna look at all the other tutorials and you decide to subscribe. That means a world to me. Today, I'm gonna to talk about disincrustation, the benefits, the contraindications and all that. Because you need to know, before you touch any machine, you need to know three things. All the contraindications, you need to know the sensations and the precautions of all the machines that you use. I am so creating three separate tutorials talking about Galvanic. So the first one that I created last week was more of an introductory of the galvanic machine in general. Today I'm going to talk about galvanic disincrustation and next week I'm going to create one on galvanic iontophoresis. So you can focus in one segment at a time. So down below tell me a little bit about are you using galvanic machine? why are you using it, why you like it, or maybe why you don't like it. So we can interact and discuss this machine further. The uh, Galvanic machine has been around for many, many years. So the machine, the current, the, the uh, modality has been tested over and over. So we know as estheticians that this machine really works. If you decide to get yourself a little device, it's not as strong as the machine that I have, uh, the esthetician. However, you can get a different levels from uh, a weaker one, a little device, from a little bit something stronger. So it depends on you what you wish to purchase. I do have a few links below, so look at it and ask me questions. If you get something like this, there's not much to worry about because it's uh, not that, that strong of a uh, machine, but it does infuse uh, the nutrients inside of your skin. So it's quite cute, the little device. However, if you are more interested in seeing more results by doing disincrustation like what I'm talking today, or if you decide that you want to do more galvanic uh, infusing nutrients in your skin. Of course, this one here is a better machine because you will, you will have a lot of the wires and the probes that I'm discussing uh, today. So a way to really deal with congested blackheads, oily skin, thick skin, it is through galvanic disincrustation. So let's see a picture here. So if you have Oh, by the way, this is um, Emilia. So if you want to um, uh, look at the tutorial on that, that's how you remove these ones here. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you have uh, congested pores like this, what the, the galvanic disincrustation does, it allows us to do electrically dilate the follicles and softens the sebum inside the follicle, making it much easier to extract, especially these really deep, dark, oxidized comedones or blackheads. My next segment is going to be a little bit intense and that uh, you might not like it, but it is chemistry and what's reacting onto the skin. So please bear with me, uh, listen to it step by step so you know exactly how this machine works. I have here the setup for my uh, disincrustation, galvanic disincrustation. So very quickly, I have my two probes, the positive and the negative. 
at this in this treatment this is the active probe and this is the inactive or also called passive uh, here uh, there is a solution called a disincrustation solution and uh, you yes you can purchase it or you can make it yourself which is water and uh, baking soda so the first thing I like to do so this is all prepared before the client comes uh, remove the excess water which is the solution you place this right on top of uh, the active probe please do not have this directly onto the skin you'll get a reaction and I uh, put it nicely snug and then I have this little circle thing so it will keep my cotton disc in place with my inactive which right now this one here is the anal pull I have uh, the little glove and of course this has been clean and sanitized if you don't like to use uh, this reusable one you can uh, apply cotton uh, sorry um, paper towel wet paper towel around this uh, probe this is the one that the client holds on to and she has to hold on to it quite snug so there is a conductivity between the positive and the negative positive negative negative goes on to the face and positive is held by the client the active electrode which is this one here emits of course negative charge makes sense negative positive and it does have, a, it causes an alkaline reaction onto the skin as we move gently. It dilates the pores, the follicles, softens the tissues, and increases blood supply onto the skin. So that is the first step of what's happening. This one here is held by the client, so let's not worry about this. But it is very important that the client holds on to it nice and tight. So there is uh, a connection between the two. Also what happens is that this electrode releases hydrogen and it will react with the salt in the skin because the skin has a salt and uh, between the salt and the hydrogen we have a reaction and it's converted into sodium hydroxide okay so hydrogen salt is converted to sodium hydroxide okay okay don't don't stop here okay don't go glossy on me uh, so let's go back here so uh, the uh, negative pole releases hydrogen and the hydrogen reacts with the salt in the skin and so hydrogen and salt will convert into sodium hydroxide but it's not stopping there yet now when the sodium hydroxide with a combination of two reacts with the sebum of the skin so it is not the hydrogen of the salt or the salt it is actually the sodium hydroxide that will have a reaction with the sebum and guess what do we get saponification and if you look at my previous uh, tutorial we'll explain that a little bit more in detail saponification means a softening the emulsification of the se sebum so it's very easy to extract so the saponification or the soapy activity of uh, the sebum it softens the blackhead and so it makes it much easier toughest blackhead can be extracted so let's get started now step by step what do we do when we have a client well hopefully you have a fairly good understanding and if you don't please look at it a few times so you can uh, understand the uh, reaction of uh, the skin so now it is time to start doing the procedure of course you're not going to take your uh, negative pole and plop it onto the face there is a little bit of a procedure first thing you need to do is to cleanse your skin number two i would advise you to do a mild scrub remove the scrub and then i would say i like a little bit of a steaming because what you're doing you are actually softening the skin not the sebum the skin itself 
remember this solution here okay I would just take a brush and apply a thin layer throughout the skin and uh, then now this is the time that you turn on your little machine and you're going to work on the area that is needed so if I have only blackheads here or here on the nose don't have to do the full face so now let's look at this machine again because uh, you can see here that there is a a black and a red so you would put this black one in here and the red one in here the client is holding on to this nice and tight for conductivity and uh, the machine is not on yet okay and uh, as you notice uh, this little machine will have a little dial so the machine is off or on, on zero you apply let's say I have blackheads in here you're going to apply in this area like this and you rotate nicely and you turn start turning the intensity up and you're going to ask the client do you feel any warmth any tingling and one of the things that she is going to taste is a metal taste in the mouth not to worry about basically there is a, a, a reaction a pH pH change in the saliva so that's what she is tasting not to worry if your client has braces or fillings that she doesn't have to worry either okay. if by mistake you let go you are kind of skipped or whatever uh, you kind of move their way please do not put it back onto the skin you will get a little shock the best thing to do is to turn down the machine the intensity to zero then you start again why is that uh, the galvanic current is a direct current and if you are going to pull it up and up and down you are going to get a little bit of a contraction you don't want to cause any interruptions because if you're doing this and, and you're interrupting the flow of the current you are interrupting and cause like a little bit of a shock or a little muscle contraction and it doesn't it does not going to cause any problems it just feels very uncomfortable so once you have completed let's say if you've done uh, uh, three to five minutes in the area don't take it off like so right now I don't have current here okay so that's why I can do this uh, don't take it off like this uh, once you have completed a treatment go to your machine bring the intensity down once it's down to zero then you can remove it but now because there is a soapy solution because of saponification it is a much easier to extract the blackheads once you have completed the extractions procedure then you can disinfect the area do the next steps which could be iontophoresis it could be applying a serum um, could be a massage mask one of the things that I want to mention also is that disincrustation cannot and it's very important that I mention be done on inflamed acneic skin or somebody that has very thin cuparo skin is not going to do any benefit actually causing damage onto the skin so I want to do a little diagram here to make it easier so the uh, negative pole releases hydrogen and the hydrogen reacts with the salt in the skin believe it or not we have salt in the skin so hydrogen this is the symbol for salt Na sorry it doesn't look too good but Na and it converts when these two together are met converts into sodium hydroxide which is NaOH the NaOH which is now on the skin reacts with the sebum that is found in the follicle these two together will form a soapy solution which is called this process is called saponification and uh, this process here makes the blackhead this very easy to be removed 
Well, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I have. Please put comments below. Uh, let me know what you thought about this tutorial. And if you have any questions, any concerns about how this uh, current anode, cathode, cataphoresis, anaphoresis, and all that, if it was a little bit confusing, the only thing I can tell you, just watch it from start to end. Don't skip because if you skip, you're not going to learn everything. Again, this is Maria and I will talk with you very, very soon.